All right, hello everybody. This is Chaos, and uh, lately I've been on a pretty big Castlevania kick. So, guess what I'm doing? Playing Castlevania games. Uh, I recently dug out Circle of the Moon for the Game Boy Advance, and I've had that game for pretty much as long as I can remember. But I've never really beaten it. I always got lost, and I never figured out what to do. That was like five years ago. Now. Here I am, five years later, and I picked it up, and I sat down, and I beat it. And I felt pretty good. It was definitely one of the more enjoyable gaming experiences I've had in a pretty long time. So now I'm interested in other Castlevania games. I have never played a Castlevania game as old as this one. Which is, uh, not good, because I've heard these games are really amazing. With the exception of Castlevania II Simon's Quest, which I've heard is pretty freaking awful. Despite, despite the fact that, you know, it has bloody tears in it. And bloody tears is just absolutely amazing. So, here we are with Super Castlevania 4, which is basically a remake of the first Castlevania. I hope it's not as hard, because I've heard the first Castlevania is hard as hell. So, what was that? Whoa! Steel Whip. Yeah! Oh, you can whip in eight different directions, which is extremely helpful, because I'm pretty sure in maybe all of the other Castlevania games, you can only whip forward, which is good, but, I mean, obviously there's enemies here and here and here and here that you need to kill, so. Ooh, a dagger. Probably extremely weak, as it is in most Castlevania games, but it is a sub-weapon nonetheless. So we move on to Dracula's castle with the rising gate. Another power up. I think it's longer now. Haha! <laughs> I killed my first skeleton. I'm happy. Whoa, that skeleton's moonwalking. Well, oh, you can move while crouching. Alright. Michael Jackson would be ashamed. I'm sorry, I shouldn't make Michael Jackson Michael Jackson jokes, it's too soon. But you know what? I've never been one for political correctness. So doesn't matter to me. I'll kill all these moonwalking skeletons in the name of the late great MJ. Not Michael Jordan. Although, to be honest, I doubt not even he could save the bulls right now. <sighs> Chicago sports suck. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about Castlevania. The great game series made by Konami. I really don't have a history with this series at all. Ooh, a cross. I really don't have, like, any big history with this series. I think the first game I've played, I played, that was Castlevania was Circle of the Moon. And that was a long time ago. Like, an extremely long time ago. Whoa. And, as I said, I, I never really beat it or got extremely far in it. I always got lost or couldn't figure out what to do. But that was a long time ago. Since then, I've, I bought Area of Sorrow, which was for the... Which is for the uh, GBA as well. And that was a good game, too. Definitely more RPG-ish than Circle of the Moon was. And I like that. I like RPGs, and I don't got a problem with it being more RPG-ish. But, to be honest... This game, even though it doesn't really have any RPG elements in it, at least not to my knowledge, is probably more fun. Basically, I think that any Castlevania game, the starting weapon should be a whip. Because, I mean, it's the staple of Castlevania, the whip, the vampire killer. It's supposed to kill vampires, not these random swords that you pick up while you're going through a castle. What the hell is that thing? Whip it! Ha! You can swing on it! <laughs> That's awesome! Oh! Jeez! Come on! Ha! Gotcha! Oh, that's pretty cool. I've never seen this done before. <laughs> 
Oh, jeez. See, I was never any good at Castlevania games. I, I sucked at Circle of the Moon, and I still do suck. But I suck lightly, slightly less now than I did before, because I was able to beat it. But I guess I should be explaining, you know, what this video is. It's, uh, it's gonna be a Let's Play video. Basically, I'm